Today's case is the tone mapping. The purpose is to learn to read the tone diagram and then use as a tool to guide our tone pronunciation. Let's look at the empty chart first. The y-axis represents the pitch. It's divided into five degrees, with the five being the highest and the one being the lowest. And that's why the method is also called five degree mapping. An important remark here, the five pitches here are relative. Somebody's five can be lower than another one's one. The x-axis represent the process of pronunciation. The starting point is set at the left side. And this is the look of the first tone on the chart. What this line indicates is the pitch of its starting point is five. Its end point is also five. So it's a straight line without ups and downs. That's why this tone is called the level tone. And if we need to be specific, the level tone can be also called as tone five five. For the second tone, the pitch of its starting point is at three, right in the middle. Its end point is five. So we see clearly now why this tone is called the rising tone. And the rising tone can be called as the tone three five. I would say the third tone for the last. Now let's look at the fourth tone first. The pitch of its starting point is five. Like the first tone, the end point is one. By looking at this line, we get right away why this tone is called falling. And the falling tone can be specified to be called as tone five one. Last but not least, the third tone is different from the other three. It takes a detour. It starts rather lower at the pitch two, then falls even lower to one, but then bounces back up to four. Hence the name dipping. It's a combination of falling and rising. Sounds like a hero's journey, no? For a more detailed name tag, the dipping tone would be called the tone 214. A side note here, the dipping tone is also longer than the other three because it takes time to go down, then back up again. And if we compare this chart to the tone marks in pinging, we will see that just each other's mirror images. Okay, that's it for today. Now you have it. This is your Chinese case consultant, Chico C. Bring me a case by asking me a question. If I open your case, I will close it for you. <laughs>